Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. I'm Grandpa Goes Gaming and this is Expeditions, a mud runner game. As you can see we've got uh, a couple of newbies joining the group for today's mission. But these aren't going to be our, our front runners. Because today we're on a rescue mission. There's a heavy truck trapped and we're going to go and rescue it. But also we're going to try and get some treasures along the way because last time out we had a really disappointing first mission that didn't last very long at all so let's see how this one goes might be a long drive to where we're going so in that time if you know why not hit the thumbs up button maybe hit the subscribe button maybe get yourself a sandwich who knows so yeah bit of a drive this way and uh, we're going to be heading location that we haven't been to before opening up a little bit more of the map didn't want to bring too many vehicles initially because I didn't know how bad the terrain was way that's a bouncy that's how it is really bouncy okay oh there's the vehicle that's trapped so we'll, we'll get close and maybe hit the drone see what we need to do maybe not uh, I mean it's it seems simple enough right but I'm pretty sure this vehicle isn't going to be able to winch it out so we're not going to even try so I've been slowly upgrading my vehicles as we go along rather than buying new ones I want to upgrade these fully before I uh, well, as far as I can go before I start spending money on new vehicles hopefully they're good enough to do this job so we've got the done Oops, bit of a drop. Goodness me. How are we going to get this out of here? It's, uh, it's literally in the mud by the look of that. Yeah. Approach it backwards. If we can, let's get some four-wheel drive action going on. And also, let's get ourselves some purchase before we think about actually attaching it. Excellent, okay. Let's get our winch on. Go with the rear winch, there we go. We're going to attach it to there. Let's turn on the engine for the truck behind us. We're going straight back to where we came from. So that's all good. Let's go. That's an awkward place to pull it out of. Lots of rocks. Yeah, we're in the we're in the wrong gears to use the diff lock. We should probably go into low range to give us some extra power. Here we go. Maximum effort. Hmm, that's not working out. Back up a little bit. Try and get a different angle. Here we go, that's better. That's more purchase for us. Go on, up you go. I feel like the, the truck we're towing is actually stuck on that lip. Back up so we can get a good look at it. It is, isn't it? We're going to struggle to get it up there, I think. Let's give it another go. Yeah! Pull! Pull! Get it up there. Not really working out so far. May have to. To approach this differently. Reposition our vehicle. Oops, reposition it into that rock. Wasn't the plan at all. Okay, this is a much better angle to go from. The 
question is, will the winch reach from here? I think, yes it will. I have upgraded the winch on this. Go, low gear. Diff lock. And let's go. Here we go, it's coming. You. How the heck do you get a truck like that stuck in a place like that? Ah, I don't know. Um, I'm actually not going to take that route. I'm going to take the left route here. It seems to have less rocks for the other truck to get stuck on. It's coming. It's coming slowly. Slowly, slowly. Look at that. The power. Absolute magnificent power of this truck. Okay, I know it's a yeah, uh, it's a starter truck. It's it's not going to be this good forever. But for now, let it have its moment. Just lose the diff lock now. Get a bit more speed. A bit more in the uh, the old fuel department. Where we going here? Go around, I think. Are we stuck? Well, if I can't get that over here. We're not going to get the truck we're towing over it, so we may as well back up and try a different angle. Yeah, we'll try this way. Go right around the tree rather than left. anywhere is it here we go try again and run up nope it's got to be it surely yeah we can get up there can we see I'm gonna try and winch out of it but the winch is in use so that's not gonna be an option this time go on You go. There you go. Lock the diff. Gives you that option for brute force. Around here. Wonderful. We've got this. We can do this with the ultimate recovery people. Grandpa goes recovering. Sound better than Grandpa goes to recovery, yes. On the diff. And here we go. This is this is the home stretch, I'm sure of it. All we'll do is get around this corner. We're not really delivering the stuck truck anymore though, because it's not stuck anymore. It's uh, not very much moving. Can you get through there? Looks like it. Okay, uh, so busy looking at the stuck truck. It's not stuck anymore. But I, uh, I didn't pay attention to where I was going. Let me, let me just do this in normal mode now. Use speed. I think we can. Right this way, yeah? Yeah. That's right. What I'm going to do is just figure out how to steer this thing. Here we go. Here we go. Almost there. Almost there. Go on. Brute force. Beautiful. Well, that surprised me. Another easy one, apparently. We haven't tested the Lodestar out yet, so let's give it a go. We've got metal detector on it and such like there's an airdrop over there as well. It doesn't to be any good for, uh, for, for climbing or such like, but you know, it certainly seems to be a lot faster than other vehicles. I think because it's made for more solid surfaces. It's not going to tackle the mud well, it's not going to tackle water well, and these lips are probably going to be an issue, but if we just drive it sensibly, like this, 
then we can find some gas, which isn't really what we were looking for, but never mind. So not too far away, there's a contract, and I think we're going to have a look at it. It's, uh, it's gold mining, and that gives us a good chance to test this truck out, put it through its paces. See what it's got going on. Suspension seems pretty good. Like I said, the, the ground clearance is, is really quite low. Um, kills cactus quite well, which is great if you're into that sort of thing. Are we, are we stuck already? Can we not get through? We can get through there. Surely we can get through there. Uh, yep, yeah, just like that. And if need be, we can always uh, uninflate the tyres. Very stiff. I'll give it that. Uh, I think it's doing alright. If you're sensible about where you drive it, as you can see, you can get away with all kinds of shenanigans. I'm going to try fording something, which is something we haven't tried with this, this vehicle yet. Oh, that moon looks cool, like that. Okay, so we've got lots of rocks here. We'll, we'll take it gently. Don't overdo it. Bang, boing, boing, and it's fine. It's just a wheel. <laughs> We've got loads more, apparently. Okay, so this surface all looks quite hard, which should suit this vehicle. Of course, if we if the mission asks us to climb, we could be in a spot of bother. That's fine. Um, nearly there already. There's the mine. The old abandoned mine looks very creepy in the dark. Find traces of gold mining. Uh, we're back onto the mainland are we? Okay the traces of gold mining are quite some distance away so I've switched vehicle to a, a closer vehicle which is the, the Don. The good old Don which appears to be my go-to for every situation. It's also a vehicle that I have a habit of getting stuck wherever I park it. Uh, Headlights on. All-wheel drive. Rather than going straight to the objective, which seems to follow the water, I'm actually going to go up past the base, and that's going to allow me to attack this from above. Uh, then obviously if there's any kind of difficult climbs as we found in previous missions, We'll be in a, an easier situation. I mean, theoretically, I could be completely wrong. We're heading towards this, this long descent back through the mountains. And there we go, that's where we're heading, just to the right there. We can actually see the area it wants us to go to. Once again, though, hitting the ground. Oh, what's this? That's fancy. Um, I, mean, I can't like take a picture of it or anything, but you know, whatever. I thought something like that would be a landmark, something to discover, but apparently not. It's just a bit of wood standing there. Let's make our way down here. There we go. We've discovered a new climb. We are climbing down for sure. And there we go. That looks like a nice clear run now. Yeah, I'm not going that way. <laughs> That's just silly. Take the most direct route in these games and you are in trouble. Boop, boop, boop. Bit of a drop. Are we right there? Can we make that? Yeah, no problem. Thank you for your help. Now it's clear that gold has been mined here for many centuries. Your contribution is as valuable as gold and you helped light our story. Brilliant! Alright, so we've only got one expedition left in this area and we'll do that next time. Thank you for joining me this time though, it's been great to have you and I hope we we'll see you again in the future. Bye bye for now.